Hey, what's up guys? Mr. 1185 coming at you with a ROM review, Android version review on the phone that they didn't think was going to get it. It's November 4th. Check it out. Oh, that's pretty sweet. I didn't see that it came with all the older versions of Android. Anyways, guys, this is the Galaxy Nexus on Verizon running Android version 4.4. Let's get started. Okay, as you can see, I'm running the Google the launcher on both my S4 and my Galaxy Nexus. The S4 is still running. Um, I just have the launcher over a ROM, so I'm still running Android version 4.2.2. And you'll see on the Nexus, I did flash the ROM for Android version KitKat 4.4. So that's the difference there. Then there's the little Easter egg for KitKat. So there you go. All right, as far as the S4 goes, you can swipe over to Google, but the voice recognition does not work as it does on the Galaxy Nexus. So I can say, hey Google, and only the Galaxy Nexus picked me up. When you swipe over, Google, you can actually get the S4 to pick up your voice, but it won't activate Google Now. So we can do What's the weather going to be tomorrow? Tomorrow's forecast for Charlotte is 57 degrees and partly cloudy. So you'll see something's going on with the voice and Google Now on the S4 don't know what it is I might just have to reflash the APK but you can see it's not working on the S4 but the cards are working and the fact that you can swipe from the whole screen works so that's awesome as far as the Galaxy Nexus it looks like it's fully functional other than the the screen issues that it's having and I'll leave a link to an article about the issue why the Galaxy Nexus did, is not getting this update and um, why it's not working really well with it let's see if we can increase the brightness on the Nexus so, like I said, from the home screen, you go, hey Google, launch camera app. And there it goes. Opening app. And it launches the camera app. While we're on the camera, I'll go ahead and show you that it does have Photosphere. Um, from what I'm understanding, I haven't used this yet, but the rendering on the Photosphere is a lot quicker. You can go into pictures. Everything's really responsive, but obviously it's not on new specs. This is running, I think, one gig of RAM um, on a lot older processor. So, and this, if this thing reboots in the middle of all this, it's been rebooting quite frequent uh, when I've been playing with it but when I leave it alone it's it's acting great so um, so you will see that there's only apps just like on the Nexus there's only apps on this page so you have to hold to get your widgets wallpapers and settings then you can see I have different pages here. I'll go over here to the Nexus, but when you take something off a page and remove it, the page doesn't just stay there empty, it, it deletes a page. So we can take that away, and now we're down to just one page. I think that's awesome. I've never been one to use a ton of pages, so um, it's worked out well for me. Uh, a couple other things, you'll see that this is the launcher on the S4, and I don't know if there's APK for the new dialer. I don't have it on here of the stock 
um, TouchWiz launcher or TouchWiz dialer but you will see I can launch this on the Nexus and it's got this really cool feature of searching nearby places or searching your contacts so we'll do Robert and you'll see names and numbers come up and then you'll see local area um, companies come up so we can do something like Chinese food and you'll see a couple Chinese restaurants um, for some reason it's showing New York I don't know if my location is set but I am on Wi-Fi so who knows um, you'll see all the white let me go ahead and get the S4 out of here you'll see all the white um, with the signal, the battery, everything's really streamlined. Um, let's go. You'll see how it's like an OPEG background versus having um, a black background for your for your apps. The new photo app. It's basically linking all your photos to Google Google Plus. So you'll see stuff that's been uploaded to Google Plus on my on my photos. There's a nice little edit one right here and we can edit it. Let's see, highlights. So this is pulling into Google Plus. And you'll find different pictures, different dates. And then you can enhance them. which is pretty sweet so a lot of cool new things integrating Google now Google Plus so here's a puppy picture so obviously like I said the Nexus doesn't have the top of line specs but it's sweet that it's running 4.4 um, from what I understand there's not going to be an OTA because of the um, the issues with chipset and um, the screen and the resolution all, there's a whole bunch to it and I didn't read up on it as well as I probably should have but I'll leave a link in the video about um, the issues with this phone not being able to run 4.4 as efficiently um, so we've gone over smarter calling let's go ahead and let's pull a photo actually okay so you're gonna see a reboot The rest of this Kit Kat, Kat bar will be gone. You can see the Jelly Bean um, boot image. So it's not um, anything new. This is the same, same boot um, animation that I had with 4.3, 4.2. So um, that part hasn't changed. Now it might have changed on the Nexus 5 or the Nexus 4, but with this one it's not. Um, cool, so let's start from the lock screen. As you can see, and this might be because I have it unchecked, I've got the time widget on my lock screen, but I can't do anything with it. I can pull over here to the camera, or if you'll see here on the bottom, there's a camera button. If you touch it, it pulls the camera out, and you can launch right from here. As you see, I'm not pulling any lock screen widgets in. I can unlock. There's a little arrow that shows me I go right to Google Now. Then there's the camera feature. Let's go ahead and unlock. Let's go to settings. You can see just the button layout. Everything looks a little nicer, cleaner. Everything's white. Um, the settings icon, the gear is just rounder. So little things like that. Location versus having a GPS button. Let's go into settings. Let's go into security. And we'll go into enable widgets. All right, now that we've done that, go ahead and lock it. All right, now that we've got that enabled, you can see that I can add widgets. Let's see what we can add. Let's add calendar so we can scroll through the calendar. We can sway back to the time, we go to camera, we could add another one. We can, let's see, Google Keep.
We can swipe it down, loads it up, scrollable. So awesome. That was a great feature that 4.2 I believe added and it's really great on this. So all right. So outside of having Hangouts as a, I guess, Google Plus forms of communication, you ha now have the option to use Google Hangouts to do SMS. So I'll give you an example. Let's just say I'll use my, my Google Voice number. So type that in and I can literally send an SMS to that number. Now granted my SIM card isn't in so I won't be able to send it but you can literally do SMS. You can call right from it. Um, let's see. People and options. So I'm guessing you can um, do notifications for this specific person. You can add people to this Hangout but it's very much like iMessage. Um, but it integrates all of Google Plus um, and it's just kind of written into your phone like I'll show you on the S4 because I have updated I've got a Google Hangouts notification and it's from my wife because she texts me she said I want to make chili but it's an SMS between me and her so you can see our SMS right here you don't see our phone number but you can see the fact that we're doing SMS and then you can go back and you can see oh man something else I always mess up and do. You can actually swipe away like your Gmail and get rid of conversations. So let's just take the one from church. I can swipe that and it archives it just like on Gmail which is pretty sweet. So there's Google Hangouts. You can call directly from it. I'll hang that up. So pretty sweet. Um, features of Google Google Hangouts and I like that it's integrated right in with the new launcher I put it right there in front of my text message place and um, it's actually blocked all my notifications from my other messaging apps because I do run sorry because I do run Verizon messages I can launch that every recent text message I have is there but I'm not getting notifications from that app same thing with my stock messaging app right here I still have all my text messages come in but it's blocking the notifications so I'm not getting notifications from multiple apps it's coming directly from Google Plus or Google Hangouts which is pretty sweet okay so as far as immersion mode goes I don't believe it's working on this ROM and once again I'm sure this is just an AOSP build where they've put together what they can pull off the Nexus 5 um, Let's see. Let's go to YouTube really fast. Go to uploads. So I'm not sure if this was already a part of the Android experience but you'll see how all the buttons go away all the buttons go away, the notification bar, everything goes away right away and it's not just buttons hiding over here like you have the full real estate of the screen which is fantastic now if we can get something to play So, cut the volume off on that. But you can see right away you have full screen real estate, which is awesome. Touch it and you go right to your notifications, check those while everything's still playing. Um, go right into multitasking. Something that the multitasking doesn't have on this ROM. And it might on the uh, stock version or other ROMs, but there's no quick close all button, so you can close them all that way. And you might have seen as I launched the video, there's some, um, almost it looks like static 
Let's see if we can get it to happen again. When we go to launch a video, you'll see static happen. And I think it's all just to do with this particular phone. Not this individual phone, but this model. Let's see. We'll launch another YouTube video of mine. Now watch really carefully as I go to full mode. Alright. I don't know if you can see that. But it's like the screen gets snowy. Alright, one really cool feature that I'll tell you about with um, Google Play. Let's see, not now. We'll go into Google Play Music and we'll play something, let's see, there we go. Play something right off the phone. Alright, so it's playing. Now once you lock the screen, boom. So you have full full screen album art for Google Play. You can pause it, you can play it, you can skip tracks. And I believe you can go right to Google Music. Maybe not. So, really cool feature. Love the fact that it does that. Well, folks, that's the um, the wrap on this ROM review of Android KitKat 4.4 running on Verizon Galaxy Nexus, the one phone of the Nexus line that, well, all the older versions too, but the most recent Nexus that's not going to get the OT update. Um, but it's cool seeing it run on here. I'm sure there's going to be some improvements, the reboots, the screen issue. I'm sure the be developers and and ROM developers are going to work really hard on getting this fixed, but it's exciting to see um, Android 4.4 without having to buy new hardware. Um, I haven't gotten rid of this phone because I use it around the house, and uh, it's just a great phone, you know, for something that I don't use as my daily driver, something to watch videos at home with my Wi-Fi, things like that. Fantastic phone, so it's great to have the new features of Google right here on an older device. So Google, great job. I'm glad you guys are wanting to get that fragmentation gone and uh, check out the links below this video I'll have that article on why this phone isn't getting the OTA there'll be an article and the links for the Google launcher so you can get it on the S4 or probably any other Android device like I have and um, that's pretty much it thank you guys so much for checking out this video if you enjoyed it or helped definitely give me a thumbs up Look forward to seeing you guys in future videos and have a great one.